Welcome back, everyone. Tomorrow is National Pizza Day. We are all very, very excited. Perfect for a Hallmark date night, by the way. And who better to help us celebrate than our next guest, a 13-time James Beard Award winner 13. who wrote the book on pizza, literally. Pizza City USA is the name of it. Here to make a sausage and jardinera pizza. Welcome back, Steve Delinsky. Welcome back. Thank you. Happy. Thank you. Listen. I'm not kidding when I say everybody is super excited about this. De I mean, Debbie <laughs> has already started. I'm Who are you? Serious and what have you here. done with Debbie Matt? Not your life. Ken and Larissa also have already wasting, started. Wasting no time. You see what I mean? It's backing me up when I say we're really excited. They just proved <laughs> the point right there. Uh, last time we were here, you made us a deep dish pizza. This yeah. time we're going to go with a little bit more of a uh, tavern style. But I want to know, tell everybody what a tavern style pizza well, is. Well, so there are different Chicago styles of pizza. There's deep dish from 1943. There's stuff from 1974. Okay. That's basically a deep with a layer of dough across the top and more sauce. Then there's tavern style, which has been around since the 1920s. This is what I really say in the book is Chicago's style of pizza. Because How it's what Chicagoans that? eat all the time is this square cut Thin and crispy. It's called a bar pie, a tavern pie, mm. but it's what we have in Chicago all the time. Interesting. And and the tavern, the, the tavern aspect to it beca came right, because, because they were having a beer, and the people that owned the bars realized that they could get people to drink more beer if they, if they served. ordered pizza. <laughs> right. So they would just pass. Idea. They'd make a thin <laughs> pizza, cut it into squares, pass it around the bar. You could order more beer because you're eating something salty. I had to put oh that my gosh, in. That's there. brilliant. Yeah, yeah. It. All right, let's get started. And okay. when I say let's, I mostly mean you. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to start. Gonna start with the sauce. Start with the sauce. Yeah. So this is uh, so you can get any kind of pizza sauce. I would get a kind of a thin, crushed, pureed tomato. Okay. But a pizza sauce is going to work fine. A little bit of water, about a cup of water, huh. just to thin it out because we mm. don't want a really thick sauce. When I did a deep dish, we had a, a much thicker sauce. I see. We want a very thin sauce, a bit of uh, Parmesan um, and some dried basil. Not fresh basil at this point, just dried basil. A little bit of sugar because you want to counteract oh. the acidity in the tomato sauce. Oh, I see. Now, on the south side of Chicago, this is black pepper, they love a lot of sugar in the sauce. You go to places like Palermo's, uh, they love a lot of sugar. This, by the way, this recipe is from um, Salerno. So Salerno's since 1966, very classic Chicago tavern style. We're going to cook this. We're going to let it cool. Okay. And we're going to we got the cooled sauce over here. I, okay? I, I could listen to Steve talking about pizza I like know. forever. <laughs> if you're going to be a historian on something, if you're a historian pizza. on pizza, I mean it's pretty yeah. good, right? You, you do guided pizza tours in Chicago, don't you? I do. We oh do tours God. every weekend, Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, we do bus tours, walking tours. We'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> you're in the okay. Chicago area. Right. We got our sauce. We got We've sauce. got our dough stretched uh, out here, rolled out. So, you yeah, say? Yeah. So all-purpose flour, a little semi semolina flour, and then some butter and some olive oil for richness, because you okay. want to have a little bit of richness in the dough, right? It's got to have a little bit of extra flavor. So this is our cooled, our cooked and cooled sauce. Very good. We're going to start in the middle. We're going to just kind of work it out. All the way to the edge? I like it all the way to the edge. Now, Salerno's, in their recipe, they don't go quite to the edge. They leave about a quarter inch. I see in Chicago, in the tavern styles, they go all the way to the edge. So I like to leave maybe a quarter inch, eighth inch at the end, but not very much of okay. the perimeter, okay? Very so that's good. even coverage. And then here's the real Chicago thing, the bulk okay. sausage, okay? So on the East Coast, you will see a lot of sliced sausage from Lynx. It's pre-cooked. This is the raw in Chicago. It's got a lot of fennel and garlic in it. It's called pinched and pressed. So we Look pinch it. We did this with the deep dish, yep. too. Right. We, we did it with the deep right. dish, but this is the same thing on the... On the Thin tavern styles, you've got to have so this raw fat will actually oh. render into the dough when you're baking it, and that's what gives it all this great oh. flavor. Okay. So while I'm doing this, you're going to take the jar. Yes, you this got This is it. a very Chicago thing. This is a relish you find on every Italian beef sandwich in Chicago. It's basically pickled and vinegared chilies, carrots, cauliflower, sometimes celery and olives. Um, but I'm going to continue to pinch and press. That's a eh, pretty good. So yeah, exactly. More even, than that, or that's pretty no, good. No, even coverage. I, I like. In fact, I like a little more. Now I could do some of this raw raw after the pizza is actually cooked, but I like it raw and then bake it into the pizza. Mm. If you get an extra hot jardinier, and you can find this online, if you get this um, extra hot, it will be mitigated, somewhat cooled down because of the whole milk mozzarella. So I think whole milk mozzarella is the way to go. You know, in Chicago, we're right next to Wisconsin. That is really the dairy state. We have yep. great mozzarella right up the road from us. Heads. So about a, about a cup and a half of shredded whole milk mozzarella, not and part it's cold. skim. You need the fat to keep you warm. What's Absolutely. Yeah, of course, yes. of course. Once you warm Steve yeah. up here a little bit, he just goes. You know what I mean? Like, once he gets some pizza ingredients in front of him, he's just off to the races. The, I love watching uh, it. All right, but the last thing, you're going to do this. So oh, I am. Dried oregano. Yeah, put you to work. He's like dry, dry, talking math. Dry, dried oregano. You see this on every... Do I do this like, a, like you the whole the thing? Band. Yeah, you can do that. That's or you just kind of do like yeah, that? Yeah, right. just right. yeah, that's good. How, how much about? Uh, that's enough. That yeah, sure, good. why not? So now on the bottom of this, this is a pizza peel. But on the bottom of this, there's some semolina flour. 
flour so it yep. doesn't stick. Yep. I like coarse cornmeal as an option. Coarse oh, cornmeal. Good. We did it with the deep yeah, dish. It gives it a little extra flavor and nuttiness too. I think. Yeah. Okay. okay so very good. Preheated. Now this is key here. Yes. The, the oven. I asked you if I can make this at home, and one right. of the best things to do at home, but it doesn't have to be the case. But having a pizza stone and, yeah. and warming it up in the oven for up to two hours. Up to two hours. If it's heating a pizza it stone, yeah, you want to get it really hot, 500 degrees. Get that stone preheated because that stone is porous. It'll pull moisture away from the bottom of the dough. Okay. If you don't have a stone, it's okay. You can preheat just a pan. Okay. Lightly oil it a little bit. Okay. But that's also okay. why you thin out the the pizza sauce, huh? So it doesn't get too soggy, since it's a thin. Ex yes, exactly. Oh, there you go. Yeah, okay. yeah. But I, I right, really that's a good so, point. so the but the oh, stone gives you that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So oh, hope you got a bottom <laughs> in there. Uh, uh, here. here we go. Please no, but this is one of my favorite here parts right here. Come on. You haven't even seen oh, this. Check oh, this oh, thing oh. out. We're, I mean, we are very hardcore. You in get Chicago. started, and then yeah. I got to try that okay. bad boy so right there. So you could use a pizza cutter. Yeah. Um, but this is the Chicago style, right? I mean, gotta go. All right. You put this is the Chicago style. So I saw you kind of go like. Yep, oh. exactly. Wow, so you're making these little squares. Easy. <laughs> I love Dangerous. This thing. Okay, right. do, do, am I done? No, no, yeah. you can do one more around here. Do one more on the bottom. Yeah, okay, you want right to really, I like Keep getting a little corner away. piece sometimes. You get a little crusty handle. Mm. We should be wearing like, our safety but could, for that, yeah, yeah, But you could get the middle piece. Oh, yeah, here. Do you want to just serve them? Right here. Okay, yeah, yes, here we go. Please. Come on, put them over there. The answer is yes. I guess we're picking up. But we do do tours every weekend. Saturdays and Sundays, we have tours. I do a bus tour that I lead on Saturdays. We do walking tours when we get into May because Chicago's a little mm. chilly in the spring. So um, I'll take one too, yeah. Help yourself, now help we yourself. Could, we could do even more jardinere on this if you wanted to. Mm. Mm. So good. You're amazing. You're me and my wife. Aww. I made this. We started this tour company about a year ago. This is delicious. That's awesome. Oh my God, this is great. You made it. This is great. This is incredible. Good, good is job, it? Cameron. How good is <laughs> jardinere? It's great, it's isn't amazing. it? amazing. I would have never thought jardinere. I love it. You know it. what? I love that little bite from the jardinere. That is so great. A little spicy, and you get the richness yes. from the cheese and the sausage. That's a great combo. Oh, you're going to love this, everybody.